Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue looking at some traditional origami and we're going to make another kind of action origami where we create this sort of um, creature, I don't know if it's really a bird, it's sort of up to you. Basically it's a beaked kind of pointed area that kind of opens and closes. So you could kind of imagine it like a really simplistic pterodactyl or even just a bird. There's lots of different ways you can look at it. But uh, for this particular origami, you're just gonna be using standard pieces of square paper. I'm gonna be using paper that's 15 by 15 centimeters. I'll let you guys know how big it is when it's finished. You could certainly make it bigger if you wanted to, um, but this one is pretty easy then for the little kid's hands to hold onto and make little chomping noises. So, <laughs> so I've got my piece of paper here. I'm gonna start with my color side facing down. And just to kind of start things off, I wanna fold my paper in half into a big triangle so that I can find where my center is. So kind of line that up, get the two sides folded out. Do the same thing here. Once I get both of those points kind of marked off, open it up to the white side there, and take each of these four tips and fold into the center. This is called a blintz base, or a zabuton base in Japanese. So we get all these folded in. Once you get all those guys folded in, flip it over and we're gonna repeat the steps going this way too. So this is steps that are a lot like the steps for a fortune teller kind of cootie catcher sort of origami too. Um, and we're just gonna kind of change the way we open things to create this little funny little snapper guy. So get all four of these folded into the center here. And then we're gonna flip it over so we're looking at this side. Now if I look at it like a diamond, I'm going to take this top flap and it's going to serve as the head of my little guy here. So I can go ahead and start off here by just making sure that that part is pinched off to kind of know that it's supposed to open that way. Now the rest of everything here needs to fold in half on itself. So I can kind of fold this part first by pinching in. And then these sides can also fold in half and I can pinch as well. Just kind of fold along the edge there. And what that essentially does is it creates for you then this kind of beaked section here, the bottom part of the uh, jawline, if you will, and then two kind of wings if you make it really simplistic. And then if you pinch, you can kind of create this little chomping sort of effect of this little creature here. So sort of a cool little dude. And if you draw little eyes on him, he looks really cool. But that kind of gives you just some basic jaw action there with this simple little origami. And the dimensions there, he's, you know, sub about 11 centimeters that way, and here about six. Six centimeters tall. But that should give you the finished dimensions there for our little snapper guy, which is our finished project for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.